Gorgeous day today and not quite as chilly during the afternoon as temperatures were able to get into the 60s and above average. We're right at average currently with a temperature of 62. A little bit more humid air. Dew points a little bit higher than they had been. That is thanks to a southeasterly wind at 8 miles an hour. So our high only 2 degrees above average, but boy, our morning low was well below average. We dropped down to 37 degrees in the city. 30 so below freezing at Bell Chase. We were in the 20s from Hammond to Slidell. Gulfport was at 32, upper 20s in Macomb. We are not going to be that cold tomorrow morning as the warming trend continues with overnight temperatures only into the 40s and 50s. A little bit more cloudiness is starting to work in too, so kind of partly cloudy through the night. We're in the 50s, low 60s outside right now, only dropping again into the 40s and 50s thanks to now warmer and more humid air coming back in from a southeasterly wind. So a warmer day tomorrow into the 70s and a little bit more of a spring like feel still very nice. Then Thursday the temperatures plummet behind a strong cold front and also during this period of colder air we're going to get several opportunities for rain. For the most part it's going to be a cold rain but still that chance of maybe some wintry weather. Here's what's going on. Upper ridging is starting to build in, which is allowing for a warm up as we head into tonight and for tomorrow. Then an upper system is starting to take hold up to our north. The system itself is not yet developed, which makes forecasting it a little bit harder. But this is what I want you to know. The colder air at the surface is on the March south. It arrives on Thursday. Now focus on these black lines. These are the isobars. So this looks at those upper troughs and all those upper systems which bring in chances of rain. Over the course of the next few days, we're going to see this upper troughing out to our west. What that means for us is overrunning moisture and on top of the colder air, the chance for rain and several opportunities for rain. If the temperatures are in a position where they could support wintry weather, we could get it. Will we? I don't think it's going to be a lot. Again, the system that we're waiting on developing across the, the northern plains and the northern Rockies is not yet developed. So that does kind of change our timing and the exact position of where we could see maybe some wintry weather in the south. So here's what one of the models is saying. Warming up through the day tomorrow, I think we're going to stay relatively dry. The model has maybe a little stray shower or two. Best rain chance is going to be late Wednesday, but early Thursday with the front. Early Thursday will be a cold rain. Then and that starts to clear out cloudy, cold and breezy. Then here comes this second wave of rainfall. And again, for the most part, a cold rain. But the models at times do try and paint in some of that pink. That would be sleep. Now, based on this model, if the moisture is already down along the coastline, maybe we see some south of the city and down toward the coast. That is possible. But as I said, the models are not in agreement. And as far as snow goes, you would really need this deep, cold air to coincide with the moisture. And it just doesn't really look like that is going to happen. The GFS is saying, yeah, maybe a potential out to our west early on Friday. And again, it looks like that risk or that chance, I shouldn't say risk, but that chance, that window of opportunity is going to be fairly slim. And the models do not agree. The GFS, yes, to our west. The euro is saying no. By the time the colder air would even arrive, the moisture will be moving out. So there is a lot still going on with this forecast, and it remains very tricky. One thing is for certain, we are going to see temperatures get very cold. In fact, many of us may stay in the 30s all day on Friday and remaining pretty cold through the entire weekend.